so this is the site i'm going to be deploying with Nuxjs. so yeah we're going to avoid all the funny errors this not found and so on so this is the site was just changing the theme yeah i want to update it so this is exactly what we're supposed to do in order for us to deploy this is the this is the next js uh, documentation site uh, we see there what we need to do the commands we need to run and yeah we also have to uh, the the code we have to inject for us to avoid the uh, netlify 404 page yeah so that's basically what we have to do so i'm going to show you exactly what this means so let's go back to our editor in our next.config.js want to make sure that our target is set to static ssr force generate fallback true just the way the highlight the way you see the highlighted part that's how you're supposed to do it then we go in the package.json file on our scripts want to make sure dev is uh equal to next and build next build start next start generate next generate like that make sure it's like that then we have to generate the dist folder so we go in git ignore for if we just push like this we won't be able to publish the dist folder so in the git ignore file make sure you remove these lines of code the most important one is uh next generate dist the uh, the one on top it's uh if you are using api keys and uh yeah they won't be uploaded so you have to also remove the dot env file if you are using the env to hide your apis i had a problem where the site was deployed and uh, it was just showing blank because it was unable to pull data from the back end yeah so that's what you do and basically that's all the setup or the code you need then we're going to run the command npm run generate this will generate our dist folder in this case my dist folder is already generated so i'm just showing it to you guys for the sake of you guys so we will let the code run we'll let the code run build and so on this should generate our dist file rather folder then yeah everything is okay and uh, client fallback created 404.html everything as you can see it's as it is so in this case what is needed now is to push our code so uh this is the current site it's pretty yeah i was just changing the color scheme to dark mode yeah hey, you know dark mode so uh this is uh my netify page the site is already deployed if you want to deploy from scratch video card will be linked up top so it's a deployed site it deploys from github pretty easy uh where i found problems was on the dist situation so uh this is a published site i, I just want to update so let me push my code so uh, after pushing my code commenting and everything yeah we'll get back to to netlify so this is done we go back to netlify we refresh the page and uh we should see some so something building so as you can see the build is building doing its thing and uh, you will receive a warning to make sure that the end next generation should be should set target to static and so on yeah then this should be done and uh, it should work successfully the site is live then i'm going to preview the site or another way to preview it is uh, i will go back to my deploys and uh, i can pre click on the url there and preview my site this is the site it's live as you can see it has been updated yeah and that's how you update sites or up deploy sites 
using Next.js. I had some issues, but if you do it like this, most likely you won't face issues. Peace out, guys. Subscribe.